Okay, this video is going to show you how to install an anti-siphon valve in a 63 Corvette fuel injection unit. We're going to be putting the valve in series with this line. It's the main feed line to the fuel spider. So the valve will most likely set in there something like like that ish or here's a kind of a reference photo of one that's been installed so it's a really good idea to uh, install one of these um, anti-siphon valves just kind of a safety thing it will potentially prevent your engine from hydrolocking these uh, fuel spiders have a tendency to um, there's a valve inside here and then inside the fuel meter also there's some anti-siphon stuff but that is not the most reliable and you don't want your engine filling up full of gasoline. Um, so we're gonna do some plumbing. We have to take this fitting out here, take it off there, and then plumb in our line. Um, in terms of wiring this in, it does not make any difference which one goes to positive, which one goes to negative. The NCRS allows you to run these as long as you install them in a inconspicuous manner. So we're gonna hide it underneath of the plenum as best we can, route the wires up, uh, one of them goes to ground, one of them goes to the positive side of the ballast resistor. So it gets a full 12 volts, um, same as the uh, ignition coil. Um, this valve, I bought it from uh, Gary Hodges at Ramjet Limited. Uh, he's uh, local, well kind of local, he's in Salem, Oregon, we're in Ridgefield, Washington, so not that far. And he actually uh, has these modified um, to increase the uh, flow through them. Um, so, and there is an in and an out of these valves, and these are the fittings you pretty much are going to need to make this work. This is the special socket, 12 point. Just cut a section out of it so that you'll be able to actually get down there and tighten that fit in. Okay, that's what it looks like with the line. I just went ahead and um, bent this line around. It's kind of mocked up at this point. Um, put this line in. And then as for the wiring, what we're going to do is one of these two wires just has to go to ground. And so I'm going to ground it on that mounting bolt right there. And the other one will snake back up through kind of the back of the engine up over to the uh, power side of the ballast resistor. So um, after you get all this stuff installed, you definitely want to flow check it, make sure the solenoid's working and uh, that it's uh, not leaking because it's impossible to get to any of these fittings with the uh, injection unit on the vehicle.
Okay, last step is to check and make sure we don't have any leaks and make sure the valve's working. So uh, I've just got it temporarily wired up to a battery. And this is controlling the ground side and you should be able to just ground the housing. And hear it click. Hopefully you guys can hear that click. So we ground it and then you take your uh, drill with the uh, fuel pump drive rod. And you fill the fuel meter up with fuel and then you apply vacuum to the main control diaphragm and you should see some fuel squirting.